You should note just a few miles away in Minneapolis there, the defense now presenting its case in the trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin charged in the death of George Floyd. The defense calling the first witness in this trial to say that Chauvin's actions were justified that day. Here's Alex Perez on the trial again tonight. After a dozen law enforcement witnesses testified former police officer Derek Chauvin used excessive force against George Floyd, today for the first time a police veteran testifying Chauvin's actions were justified. I do. The defense calling former officer Barry Broad as a use of force expert. I felt that officer Chauvin's interactions with Mr. Floyd were following his training, following current practices in policing, and were objectively reasonable. In fact, Broad testifying that Chauvin didn't actually use force at all when he pinned Floyd down. Why is it not a use of force? Because it's a control technique without, it, it doesn't hurt. But the prosecutor pushing back, showing this picture, Chauvin with his knee on Floyd's neck. Orienting yourself on top of a person, on the pavement, with both legs, is unlikely to produce pain? It could. What do you mean it could? I'm saying it could produce pain. If this act that we're looking at here in Exhibit 17 could produce pain, would you agree that what we're seeing here is a use of force? Shown in this picture, that could be a use of force. The jury today also hearing for the first time from an officer who responded to the scene, Peter Chang of the Minneapolis Park Police, who showed up to assist and watched from across the street. The crowd was becoming more loud and aggressive, a lot of yelling across the street. Officer Chang's body camera capturing George Floyd sitting on the ground. Last name? The defense, which has focused on Floyd's drug use before the encounter with police, also calling a woman who was with him at the time, Shawanda Hill, testifying Floyd had nodded off in the car and she tried several times to wake him up when the police arrived. So he instantly grabbed the wheel and he was like, please, please don't kill me. Please, please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. What did I do? Just tell me what I did. And David, the defense is moving through witnesses quickly here, but at this point, there's no indication that Derek Chauvin would take the stand. David? All right, Alex Perez in Minneapolis. Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.